What's good YouTube, it's Adam from ABBA Music Mogul and welcome to another video. Today's video will be breaking down everything that's new in Logic Pro 10.5, so let's jump right into it. If you are looking for a more in-depth sort of videos of each individual feature, click the card in the top right hand corner and that will give you all the new features with a more in-depth look. This is sort of a bird's eye view. So starting at the top, Logic 10.5 gives us live loops. And this lets us compose music by arranging and triggering cells containing loops, samples, and your recordings. You can use live loops in a live setup or as an arrangement where you can record in live arrangements. It's really, really useful and we'll be talking more about that in a little bit. Next up is two new plugins, Sampler and Quick Sampler. Sampler replaces Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument, my most favorite plugin of all time. But don't worry, if you created a lot of kits, or sounds in EXS24, all those presets will work in Sampler. Load them up the same way and you're good to go. So that's Sampler, a multi-sampler instrument. And Quick Sampler is, well, in the name itself, it's a quick sample that lets you manipulate individual samples, one shots, loops, really, really quickly. Next up is Step Sequencer. As you can see right over here, it is inspired by classic drum machine workflows but Logic takes it a step further. Not only can you program in beats, but you can also program in melodies, bass lines, effect automation, and chords as well. And finally is an update to the Logic Remote app. Over here, I got it installed on my iPhone as well as the iPad, and it's a perfect companion to everything that's new in 10.5, especially Logic's live loops, and we're gonna get to that right now. All right, so here is Live Loops and what it looks like in Logic Pro 10.5. You may have heard about Live Loops from GarageBand, but this is way more powerful. Apple has clearly been building the technology out to be a pro feature. I think many will compare this to Ableton Live, but what's cool about Live Loops is that it lives right inside Logic and you can use it side by side with the classic tracks view right over here, drag and drop things work with it simultaneously, together, individually. It's really up to you how you want to work live loops into your workflow. Now, triggering samples and loops within live loops is really, really easy. All you gotta do is, as you notice my mouse, hover over one and click. But if you're using Apple's Logic Remote app as well, you can go ahead and use the big multi-touch surface to go ahead and step input those cells and trigger those loops. Or you can trigger out whole rows as well. Could kind of think of Logic Remote as being an external controller like Ableton Push or the Novation Launchpad. Right, next up is Logic Sampler. Once again, it does replace Logic's EXS24 instrument. It is completely backwards compatible. So once again, any kits that you've put together, presets you've made will load into Sampler with no issues at all. Load them up the same way and you are good to go. So gone is that sort of three window plugin that EXS24 was. And what we get here is a completely redesigned modular sort of experience plugin. You decide what you want on the screen and what you don't. But Sampler sort of builds on everything that was great from EXS24 and puts it into a really powerful single window plugin. It also harnesses some power over from Alchemy. So the synthesis and filters from Alchemy is built in right into Sampler. And you can really build really powerful sounds here and build out multi-sample instruments really, really easily. Once again, general overview, if you want a deeper dive into what Sampler is all about, hit the card in the top right hand corner. Next up over here is Quick Sampler. And this is gonna be the best way to work with individual one-shot samples. Just drag it in here and it's gonna be stretched out across your key bed and can play it out at different pitches, different keys. It's just really magical what Quick Sampler can do. This will probably be my personal favorite plugin to use as I use Logic more and more. I can already tell you from now. Just a quick preview, what's my favorite piece and part of Quick Sampler is the recorder option right here. So if you're anything like me, I work with a lot of one-shot samples and like to record in one-shots as I make music to make my music a little bit more organic. 
So I go ahead and hit recorder over here, select my input. I could go ahead and quickly record into a sample, in a sample directly into Quick Sampler. So just like that, there's our sample over there. And if we go over to our Logic Remote app, we can go ahead and play out that sample from there. All right, next up is Logic's Drum Machine Designer. Now it's not new to 10.5, but a lot has happened under the hood and I just want to make mention of what's new with Drum Machine Designer. Now it is not powered by UltraBeat, it is now powered by Logic's Quick Sampler plugin. So that powerful one-shot plugin is now harnessed within each one of these cells. Now, if you want to get really fun and really funky, you can actually go ahead and design your own sounds from scratch. I can go ahead and bring in any plugin that I want on each one of these cells. For instance, on this kick cell, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Logic's new plugin, Drum Synth. And this plugin lets you design custom sounding drum one shots. So over on the right, you got controls to mold and shape up your sound any way you like. You can edit to your heart's content. Also included are different groups of sounds. So you could decide between snares, claps, percussion. And within that, you got a subgroup of different percussion hits, for example. And from there, you can go ahead and mold up that in this case, the 80s cowbell. So that is Logic's Drum Machine Designer, the place you wanna to go to if you wanna create drum kits. Another new plugin in Logic, and I've been having so much fun with this, is Remix Effects. Once again, if you're familiar with GarageBand for iOS, this sort of borrows that idea, and you can manipulate effects live with Logic Remote, which is the best experience for this. And uh, you know, instead of me talking, let me just show you what I mean. So that is everything that is new in Logic 10.5 as a very, very general overview. Once again, if you do want to learn more about each one of these new features, click the card in the top right hand corner of this video. It is a playlist that will show you more in depth each new feature. Definitely super excited about it. Check out the playlist. If you have Logic, this is a free update. So go over to the App Store, click that download link and download it. This is a must cop. If you don't have Logic, uh, if you head on over to Apple's website, there is a free 90 day trial, unrestricted. You can save, export, do whatever you wanna do for three months and decide if you like it after that. That's it for this video, guys. If you are curious to find out more about the features more in depth, hit that link in the top right hand corner and um, I will see you in the next video. Later, peace. Thank you.